nice sunny day, nice sunny day. Folks in a hurry, I see. Hey, what's up there, brother Scott? What's happening, man? Did you take care of any of them lawns today, bro? Okay. I just want to make a short commentary real quick. Oh, you took care of some business, okay. All right. What's up, YouTube? What's happening? What's what is happening? Here I am with, with Sister Nova. Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Chilling out with Sister Nova. Brother Scott say, "What's up, Sister hey, Nova?" Hey. Yeah, we just chilling out. I'm enjoying uh, Atlanta, doing a little something something. I'm tired as a mug, but I got sick out my back, so I can chill out for, for a minute. <laughs> How y'all doing? Well, for those who don't know, this is, uh, I'm Angel Snub Number 7. And I am Noble Levine. And that's, that's our sister, Noble Levine. And uh, this is the reality and also, 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 brother number one. Never forget that. We're here in uh, in Atlanta, of course. Just chilling out. And I just wanted to bring a quick commentary while we uh, riding down this freeway. Don't have nothing else better to do. And uh, what I want to talk to us about real quick. I, uh... I was listening to a brother's video, again, don't have to mention his name because it's a lot of people with this type of mentality. And maybe you have this mentality too. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to make this real short and quick. I don't know why I'm talking because I'm really tired out of my mind. <laughs> Be quite honest. Uh, I'm gonna bring this to you real quick. Okay. You are nation of Islam. You are atheists. You are the more science temple. You are black first. You are Pan-African. You are RBG. You are, you are, you are. You have cancer. Uh, you don't have cancer. You like blue cars. You like red cars. Uh, you went to Harvard. You, um, do you get my drift here? This is about you. And what you about what you like, uh, you like Red Lobster. You like Popeye's Fried Chicken. Uh, the list goes on and on and on, okay? So you get my drift where I'm going with this. It's about you are. It's about you, okay? The point that I want to make real quick is, the only one that really care about that is you, okay? Nobody else care. You can be black first, you can be RBG, you can think that you're African, you can think that you're native or whatever. The only one who really interested, who really interested is you. Now, if you present that to other people, and they seem to gravitate or they seem to embrace that, then that's between you and them, and that's all good. But a problem that we have in the, in the small black cautious, black power, black liberation community, we have this idea that we can force our beliefs on others. Well, if I like black cars, everybody should have a black car. Red cars, orange cars, yellow cars, all that other stuff should not exist. That's our mentality. All of us should do the same thing, think the same way, all that type of stuff. That's never gonna happen. It's not going to happen. We are diverse. 
Everybody like different things. It's not going to happen. I know that you feel passionate about your belief, that you are African, or you are Aboriginal or whatever, or you comedic or you're black Muslim. The only one who cares about that is you. Nobody cares. So I don't care how angry you get, how frustrated, how mad, or whatever. That's right, Brother Scott. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has their own beliefs. When you go to the grocery store, and you go to the bean section where they're selling beans, there's all kinds of beans because everybody don't like the same kind of beans. Can you imagine going to the store and there's only one brand, one kind of bean? Now, if you don't have no choice, if you don't have no choice, well, you'll get those beans. But when people have a choice, they're going to automatically search for different things, different flavors, different ideas, different... People are just different when they have a choice. When they have a choice. Our ancestors did not have a choice. When you are in jail, you don't have a choice. So, these people with that's, uh, who are religious zealots with all these different crazy ideas, they become zealots. That's what they want to do to us. They basically want to make a slave out of, out of you. They basically want to put you in a prison. You are unable to express who you are, what you like, for what the government or what a king or a queen wants you to be. That type of world I don't want nothing to do with. That's not the type of world I represent, I want to live in. I don't want nothing to do with that. Everybody be, your morality is what everybody else's morality is supposed to be. How you look at things in life. That's not how things gonna be. And see, these people who are zealous like that, say for instance, taking Christianity for a change. The reason why there's so many different facets of Christianity is because everybody people think differently. Look at the look at uh, the nation of Islam. There are many. Minister Louis Farrakhan is the only is not the only nation of Islam that's out here. It's at least five or six different kinds of nation of Islam. Hey, what's up there, brother Michael? They all come from the same place. But people are different. They see things differently. The reason why the United States of America is able to function the way that, that it does is because the United States of America, whether you think it's evil or whatever, however you view America, is able to take the diversity of its people and work with that. We, as descendants of slaves born in America, we are we have rigid minds. We're not flexible. We're not able to take to work with our own diversity. We live in a fantasy world where everybody is living the same kind of life. That's not life. That's not that's not reality. So you can get angry at me all you want to. You can get angry at Sister Noble all you want to. You can get angry at Brother to live all that you want to. It's not going to change nothing. And I don't, I don't feel bad about what you talk about. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're talking about me, I don't feel bad. I mean, because I know who I am, so yeah, I don't feel bad about somebody saying I'm a whatever you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I don't feel bad about it because I know who I am. As long as I know who I am, it doesn't matter what you think about me. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. So basically, I just wanted to make it make a, a very uh, short point. Because these Negroes here, they cannot get over the fact everybody is not going to be like them. No compromise. They said no compromise. Well, guess what? 
You're going to be a slave to the day you die. That's the bottom line. You cannot compromise. You have guaranteed yourself to die a slave in the system that you claim that you fight against. You will die. It's simple as that. That's right, Brother Scott. Be yourself. Stop trying to be something that you think somebody wants you to be. It's simple as that. I don't feel, well, I don't feel, I know that I'm not an African. It don't make no sense. I prove to you beyond a shadow of a doubt. That's why you have to say, you don't believe you're African because you really don't know. That's what you've been taught. That's what you believe. But the facts, see, that's the thing about truth. The facts say you're not that. Hell, your own DNA tell you that you're not an African. Because your DNA is all mixed up. Somebody said, well, if you have 50%, that makes you pure. That's a damn lie. Put 50% gas and 50% water in your car and see what happens. Because that's not pure. Your car will only run on pure gasoline. Some people don't even like that ethanol. And your car will run just fine with ethanol in the gas, like 15% or whatever, 20%. Some people don't even want that. They want pure gasoline in their car. They don't want ethanol either. Once you mix something, it is no longer pure. I get tired of going, I get tired of talking about it because you want to be, if that's what you want to be, I mean, if that's what you want to be, you can believe, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I can believe I'm Superman if I want to. That's my business. Hey, what's up there, sister, uh, Ann? So, uh, I mean, you can believe whatever you want to believe. But belief don't make it true, and it's not true. It's too many, it's too many factors in these things. You're not going to be able to force the 40 to 70 million to be first black, RBG, and all this black consciousness comedic stuff. They're not gonna accept it, they're not interested. You should be happy. <laughs> Hey, yeah, sister. You should be happy if you can get our people to the point where they are interested in the struggle. Period. Because they're just and they're just not interested. You can't get them interested in freedom, justice, and equality. Stop trying to bully people and trying to force people to be what you feel you're comfortable with. You're not going to get anywhere. You're going to die a slave, just like Elijah Muhammad died a slave, Marcus Garvey died a slave. All these people who you hold up so dear, that's how you're going to die. You have guaranteed that you're going to die a slave just like them because you're hard-headed. Yeah, because you're hard-headed. And that's just the bottom line. They did not win. They did not win. They lost. And died for nothing. A lot of them. And just like the sister said, they died for nothing. Mm. For you. And look at you. And you can't do no better than them. Mm -hmm. well, basically, all I wanted to say in this short few minutes is, look, you can be all tough and whatever, but until you accept diversity, until you compromise your position and learn how to work with people, then just, just accept your fate. You're going to die a slave. And if that's what you want to do, fine with me. And the people that you don't like, the homosexuals, the swirlers, uh, the crackheads, whoever it is that you don't like, when they throw you in that mass grave down in that pit, they're going to throw their ass on top of you. You don't like homosexuals, and chances are a homosexual body will be thrown on top of yours and that homosexual might say, oh, that's, you got a nice little booty there. We might as well do a little something before we die because, you know, hey. 
That's what you want? And that's very ironic. That you're going to die with the people that you don't like on top of your body. <laughs> and just like Brother Scott said, that's facts. That's facts. Now you're living, you know, you're living in La La Land. You're living in this fantasy world, some kind of Wakanda. Wakanda don't exist. That don't exist. Kemet don't exist. Ancient Ethiopia don't exist. They caught up in this fantasy stuff. And they're angry at this channel is because we got to keep it real. I don't believe in Santa Claus. They believe in Santa Claus just because you can turn Santa Claus black. Santa Claus is not real whether Santa Claus is black or white. Yeah, Jesus ain't real either. Jesus is not real whether he's black or white. Mm. Don't exist. Until you get it real, until you get all this nonsense, childish, immature behavior out your mind, you're not going to change nothing. And really, to me, really, the bottom line is I don't really think these niggas want nothing to change. They just want to excuse, and they just want to be able to complain because they really love mm -hmm. racism, white supremacy. Yeah, that's what it is. What do you think? I think they do. I think they I like... Think, I think Negroes here really love this system. They love white supremacy. Right. And they love racism. They love They're racism, white supremacy. They to get out from under it. Yeah. Doing dumb stuff. You know? Because if you really don't like this system, you do whatever it takes. I don't care if you don't like it. You do whatever it takes to get out of it. Yeah, yeah. But they're not. So apparently they must like like this crap. Mm -hmm. well, so I guess they must like getting their ass beat too. <laughs> by these race soldiers. I guess yeah. I guess they must like going to jail and going to prison. Yeah, dumb stuff. You know, over dumb stuff. Yeah. You know. But anyway, with that said, we out of here, we got some things we gotta take care of. Mm -hmm. And uh might be back later on tonight or sometime later on this week and holler at y'all and uh Thank you for joining me these few minutes, Sister Ann, Brother Scott, Brother Michael, and those who are listening, those who will listen to this broadcast later on. And uh, hey, Sister Diana, what's happening? Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be we'll be back. Just watch your notifications. <laughs> I look like I'm going fishing. <laughs> you want to get something to eat? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I'm out of here. See you later. We out of here. Y'all have a nice day. And uh, we already 5,000. Peace. They must love the system, huh? Yeah. They must do. They must do. It's the only thing I can think of.